So what is a timeshare presentation like? I'm sure you're curious. So we are actually on our way to one right now. We're gonna let you know how long it is, how pushy they are. Or not pushy, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, just overall how the whole meeting goes itself. So stay tuned. So we just arrived for our sales pitch. Got a nice little waiting area here. So we got about a 10, 15 minute wait. And I got snacks. All right, <laughs> so yeah, snacks, nice place to sit. Got a few minutes wait, and then we'll get to the sales pitch. So we just got done with our timeshare presentation. Uh, we went in at 8.58 and we got out at about 10 after 10. So it was about 70 minutes total. So um, this one is through Mary Application Club. This is probably about our fourth or fifth one that we have done. And the dude this time... Was a little more aggressive. He was and pushy. pushy than some of the ones that we have had in the past. So the first 15, 20 minutes of the uh, little presentation is really them trying to get to know you. They're... They're asking you like just kind of where you grew up, you know, what yeah. kind of jobs you do. Trying to make a connection with you in some way. Yes. And so the really so the first 15, 20 minutes is just is just that there. Once they get done with that, then they start going into their their big sales pitch. Now, in our case, we already own uh, Mary Application Club yes. points, and we love Mary Application Club. Yes, we love it. It's been fantastic. <clears throat> so in our situation, they always try telling us that we don't have enough, enough points. points. And that we need to buy more Yeah, and, the, and the, it's not just like, oh, you need like a few hundred more points. It's always you need to double yeah, the amount of, amount of points, points. That you have. And so in the, and at this point, uh, this is when we start letting them know that, you know, we don't have the finances for that right now, that we don't need it, that we're very happy with what we have right now. Yes. And so, and we keep uh, referencing this over and over again um, during uh, the, the meetings. <laughs> now, the next part really depends on your salesperson. So, um, we've had some that uh, when we tell them our, you know, that we're not interested, but we are happy, but we're not interested. Um, you know, they kind of start, you know, closing up the little sales pitch because you know, they don't want to waste their, their time, time. Don't want to waste our time. Our time and all that. Um, and then now in this case, he, this dude. He was going to keep on the keeping on. Yeah. He, <laughs> he would, if, 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 if you weren't steadfast in your decision not to, this guy's going to get sales. Yeah. He's, he's going, he's going to make it happen. <laughs> yes, he is. Now, once um, they're finally done with their sales pitch, and usually that you're least in there for an hour, um, they have a closer, just like they do if you're when you're buying a car. You have the initial salesperson, and then they the, they always have their little closer person too. Same deal um, with uh, you know your timeshare meeting. Uh, the closer person is going to come in. They're going to ask you how the meeting went. Yes. Um, and then they're going to give you this great deal on another vacation that you can possibly have. Yes. And it's tempting. Because they are a pretty good deal. <laughs> They're a pretty good deal. So we're, we're staying in Myrtle Beach. And um, they gave us a deal that we could stay for four nights. Um, plus give us 50,000 points for a Marriott Bonvoy, which gives you a, free, a couple free a hotel nights. Yes. And then um, for like $900. So it was a really good it deal. It was a sweet deal. And so, you have you don't have to make that decision right then. No. You have until it's time for you to be off the property to make the decision on if you want um, the little kind of extra thing they try to slide in at the end. Yeah, and and the people are, are that person's usually very nice. Yes, and very uh, understanding of your situation and which and, is probably like yes. not the main salesperson. And they're they're pushy, but not really pushy. Yeah, but not terribly aggressive. Yeah, so and that's that kind of sums up the whole a timeshare presentation part of it. So if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Or if you've had a vastly different experience, oh, yeah. it would also be very interesting. Yeah, I'd love to that. hear it. So um, uh, the the bonus part of it is we got a free vacation out of this for the most part. So it's just part of the deal. But at least, this at least gives you a little bit of information on how timeshare presentations go. So. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye.